Hello there, Virgo. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of December 15th through the 21st. I am using the Russian tarot of St. Petersburg again. And what we have for you on Monday, Virgo, is the Five of Coins. Five of Coins just means to me, when I see this card, this is talking about reworking your budget or working on a budget. Um, trying to get a, pan, a plan in place about um, what we're setting aside to put towards this thing and that thing and the other thing. So really has a lot to do with working out a budget or reworking a budget. So that's what I see going on for you, Virgo, on Monday. And then on Tuesday, what I see coming up is the Seven of Swords in Reverse. Now, the Seven of Swords in Reverse is a very, very, very interesting card because it indicates a very interesting situation, Virgo. What's going on is you have some kind of situation in your life where somebody thinks that they got away with something from you. They think they, they did something sneaky behind your back. Only you knew what was up. You just didn't bother to tell them that you knew what was up. You were just kind of watching them saying, okay, what are they going to do next? And so what happens when this card comes in in reverse, this is telling me that the person who thought they were getting away with something they are trying to make it right now. And it's interesting how they do it. They don't want to admit to you that they actually did the thing that they did that you already know about. But they do kind of want to make it up to you. And so they're trying to do this in the sideways way without actually saying that they've done this. So it's it's quite the interesting little scenario. And um, if you're into the cat and mouse games, it can be um, a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> and me being a Scorpio. I kind of like those scenarios. They're a little bit, they're fun. <laughs> so, um, you know, I guess it depends how mean you are. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit too mean, but anyway, there you go. That's your Tuesday. All right, so Wednesday we have the Four of Coins in Reverse. Now, Four of Coins in Reverse is talking to me about a situation coming up for you, Virgos, on Wednesday where you're spending some money that you weren't planning on, well, maybe you were planning on spending it, but you're spending money out of your savings. This is money that you had set back. This is not part of your everyday living money. This is money that you had set back and you had plans to do something with it. And instead of doing, um, you know, everyday stuff out of this money, you're actually digging into your savings and you could be digging into your savings to do what you had originally planned with it. Maybe you set back money to buy Christmas presents and you're going out to buy Christmas presents. Or maybe you set back money to buy Christmas presents but your car is broken down and now you have to pay to get your car out of the shop. So either way, the bottom line is that you're pulling money out of savings on Wednesday. That's what I'm seeing here. So Virgo Thursday, what we have here is the King of Clubs in reverse. And this is just telling me that you're in a situation on Thursday where you're trying to solve a problem, but you're feeling really blocked. You're having a hard time looking at it creatively and really figuring out, okay, how do I really deal with this in a way that has an outcome that I can live with that I really like? So creativity block, making it hard for you to solve a problem on Thursday, Virgos. Now Friday... We have one of the most excellent cards that you could possibly have. This is the world card. And this card really is about dreams come true or things that are manifesting in our life that we've been wanting to manifest in our life for a while. So Friday, I do see something coming into your life that you've been wanting there for a while. It's a goal that's been attained or a dream that's been reached. Something manifesting that you've been working on manifesting for a while. Okay, so Saturday... Three of coins. For some of you, this is party time. <laughs> I actually heard that the first time I glanced at this card just now. Party time. Now, that's not for all of you. I'm hearing that that's about for a third of you on Saturday. You're going to be doing some partying. Um, for some of you, this is creative ventures. This is doing things creative and just really kind of going with the flow and just enjoying life. Um, kind of doing things that are not formatted. They're just very open-ended. And for some of you, I don't know, Virgos or a lot of you musicians, for some of you I feel like you're going to be performing musically or somehow creatively on Saturday, so maybe even acting. But um, music seems to play a big role here Saturday for quite a few of you Virgos, at least a third of you. Now, Sunday, the Empress. Now, the Empress card talks a lot about those things being drawn to us that are beautiful 
and that are um, things that we love, things that we're passionate about. And she also talks about fertility, about things that are productive and happiness making. So on Sunday, I'm seeing a very happy day. I'm seeing you getting a lot of things done on Sunday, maybe socially more than um, physically things done. Like not so much maybe, I'm not going to rule out cleaning the house, but these feel more like social things, like getting a lot done on Sunday that's social related. Getting a chance to catch up with people you haven't had a chance to catch up with for in a while, or going to a get together, and um, I'm feeling a lot of potlucks for you guys. <laughs> I'm just really getting a lot of feelings of people just carrying in food, and a lot of feelings of church for you Virgos and and church get together. So I don't know if Sunday, what date is that? That's the 21st. So yeah, maybe you guys are celebrating Christmas with your church on Sunday. <laughs> So I do feel a lot of that coming in, but definitely it's a time of happiness and it's a time of doing things that um, that you feel like you're making progress by doing those. So Sunday is a very good day. Okay, so Virgos, for those of you who would like to have a more specific in-depth personal reading with me, check out my website, www.amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot info, I-N-F-O. Plenty of ways to contact me there, plenty of information about me there, find out if I'm the right reader for you or not. Once you contact me, we'll set up a reading for you as quickly as possible. And for the rest of you, I will see you next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.